First things first, uh, Nathan, you were substituted on Tuesday. How are you? Yeah, no, I'm good. It's just a bit of muscle tightness. And I think because obviously I'm, this is probably the most amount of games I've played in a while. So my body's still adjusting to it, but I'm, I feel good. And hopefully I can be involved in the game on, on Saturday. How are you enjoying starting games? Oh, I'm loving it, to be honest. It's, it's a feeling which I've not had much of, but... Now that I've had it and I'll keep getting a taste of it, I just want to keep continuing it and doing the right thing. So whether it's playing the role I had to play where I have to stay wild or coming inside and doing what I've been doing in some of the other games. But as long as I'm starting, it always brings a smile to my face and I'm always happy. So The crowd have taken to you. There's a real buzz when you get the ball. You must be enjoying that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's good because obviously for me, it shows I'm, I know I'm doing the right things and obviously I'm getting the feedback from my teammates and the manager that I'm doing the right things and now as the fans are saying I'm singing my name I'm doing the right things then it's a good feeling as well so I'm happy and long may it continue You started in the Arsenal Academy obviously yeah. you've joined us on loan from Southampton uh, how, how does Burnley's facilities compare to those? I'd say there's not really much of a much of a difference I'd say the dressing room the way that the boys are like we're as a team so that's very like very tight knit group and I think that's a very good thing I'd say obviously it's a, li it's a little bit smaller than Arsenal and Southampton, but I feel like obviously we we should be a Premier League club anyway. So when we hopefully get promoted, facilities could improve and we can put the money in the right places. And have you settled in with the lads? A lot yeah. of new faces as well, including <laughs> yourself. Yeah, I'm still trying to learn everyone's names, but <laughs> <laughs> but now it's good. I feel like as a team we're all getting to grips with being a relatively new squad and a young squad. And I feel like it's great for us to obviously bond together, play play well, have good performances and obviously still be in and around the promotion places. It's three goals for you in seven championship appearances. You seem to be enjoying it and you're finding the net. Yeah, I feel like I could have had more, to be honest. Um, instances, I think Millwall, I think I had about six shots. <laughs> Somehow I didn't score. And then other games, I think West Brom as well, two chances as well. So... I could easily put me on double figures, but the fact is, with the team, the team is still playing well, and I'm doing well, and so I can take a lot of positives from the performances we've had and continue to improve. Yeah, it's nine games in now, three wins, five draws, just the one defeat. It, it feels to be going well for Burnley. Yeah, of, of course we want to win every game we possibly can, but obviously something I learned when we were young: if you can't win, don't lose. And if we're going to get a draw and take a point from a game, then I think that that's something we can work on and obviously add to the game and try, obviously try and make amends and continue to pick up the points and continue to score goals but I feel like as a team we're, we're heading in the right direction we're still one day I think everything's just going to click and you'll see a team and everyone will, will be shocked and surprised at how good I wouldn't really say surprised but everyone will see how good we actually are as a team and I just can't wait can't wait for it to be honest because we see it in training so we know that when we get the opportunity to actually perform it in games It'll be another good feeling. It's Bristol City on Saturday. They were at Norwich City last night. Did you see any of that game? <laughs> no, I was watching Champions League. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, they've had a good start to the season, Bristol City. Yeah. They'll be tough opponents. Yeah, I feel like every game is, is going to be tough in this league. I feel like, obviously, Norwich did well to, to, win, uh, to beat them last night, but Bristol as well, they've had, like you said, had a good start to the, good start to the season. So I feel like it'll be an entertaining game for for the fans and it'd be a good one for to hopefully be involved in. Thank you, Nathan. Good luck. Thank you. Hi, Nathan. Hi. Thanks for your time. Just, yeah, obviously you, you're one of several new signings and you've probably signed in the most competitive position on the pitch as well, given the number of other players who can play in yeah. that role. How is that competition for places? How What's it like in training every day? I'd say it's good. I think health is healthy competition and it's not like everyone's trying to prove that they're better. It's we all want to play and help the team because we all want to be a part of potentially something great and all like that just drives and motivates all of us whether it's me as an attacker um, and players who might not have played as, as much minutes as they would have liked to want to take my spot it's going gonna, it's gonna to be good it means that I've got to continue to be doing the right things and they're going to have to continue to do the right things and obviously it's a long season and there's going to be plenty of opportunities for everyone to play so I think by everyone working hard and performing at a high level in training when they get the opportunity to play in the game they'll just fit straight into it How's life working for the manager under under Vincent Company? I know he was probably a reason or part of the reason why you came. What's mm. what's the sort of early early weeks under him been like? He's just very good. I say he has such a big attention to detail, which probably surprised me because I feel like 
sometimes there's things which I'll see and I might not, or I might notice it and I might not know how to maybe relay the information across, but he'll break it down in stages and that really helps me and understand, give me more of an understanding on the game and the position I need to be in, the runs I need to make and at the moment it's making me look good so <laughs> I, I want to I'll keep listening to what you're saying yeah if he's picking you then you're going to be happy aren't you so <laughs> we touched on the the sort of relationship you seem to have already built up with the supporters obviously they've got got that little song for you as well <laughs> how have you found that sort of relationship with the fans because it seems you seem to have hit it off with them yeah it's, it's it's good I feel like as as a player as a new player you want of course you want to earn the trust of your teammates and the manager but to earn the trust of the fans as well is, is something which is, might be quite hard to do. But I think the fact I was able to come in and have quite a few good performances straight away and give the fans another reason to be excited um, about, I feel like it's great for me and it, it does give me um, confidence. It makes me happy, it makes me smile. And obviously when my mum and dad watch the game, they all call me Nathan Taylor baby now. <laughs> but nah, it's, it's good. So. Yeah, I just I just want to continue, keep doing well and doing the right things. It's catching, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what well, obviously you've, you mentioned your, your mum and dad there. You've you've moved north, or, yeah. or more north. Um, how how are you sort of settling off the pitch? Because obviously you've been at Southampton a number of years at, at Arsenal before. Then are you you're settled in the area? Do you sort of feel like you you're getting towards an adopted northerner now? <laughs> yeah, I say I'm I'm I've settled in quite well. I'm I'm used to living by myself. I've been doing that since about sixteen. So it's not a massive difference for me, whether it's in London, whether it's down at Southampton, whether it's up here in, in Manchester, I feel like if I still got my focus on football, I think like everything else outside the pitch will take care of itself. And now it's just down to me to, obviously the schedule for games is hectic game, three games in a week sometimes. But for me, it's like I know that I can't afford to, to slip up and be distracted by anything else. So by me being by myself and having the opportunity to to focus more, it will help me in, in the long run and it's, starting to, it's helping me now. So Yeah, yeah. Obviously you're at Arsenal as a, as a kid. I think you're in the academy for 10 years, something like that, maybe maybe longer. Yeah. How much of a, a sort of good grounding did, did that give you and how tough was it when when you were, when you were released at, at 16? Um, yeah, it was, it, was, um, it was a good experience to be honest. I made a lot of friends and obviously that was the team I supported growing up. So there was always a ambition to play for the first team and play in the Premier League there. And obviously I wasn't able to do it there, but Southampton took me in and allowed me to live my dream and being a Premier League player. So I'm always thankful for, to Southampton for that. But obviously now I'm here, I just want to focus on being here and helping the team get back to where we deserve to be and where I feel like we belong in the Premier League. You've got a reputation around here of always been smiling <laughs> and enjoying sort of every day coming into training. I guess if you've been released as a kid and you've had to sort of go out on trial and try and find your, your pathway in the game, that makes you appreciate playing professional football more, I, I would imagine. Yeah, like there's loads of, I, well, I can say loads of kids, but even speaking to my friends, so many of them would love to be just in my position for a day. And the fact is I'm able to now live it and I'm able to play, I've been able to play in the Premier League, I'm able to play in the Championship, I'm playing on TV, I've seen people have my name on the back of their shirts, like that's something which as a kid you probably don't even think about. But that's that's the dream which my friends have had and that's the dream which I've had. And, the fact I'm able to live it, it just gives me more reason to like, want to keep living it and stay hungry and stay focused and motivated. And yeah, I'd say it's going well. Yeah, going well. <laughs> when, when you joined Burnley, or the decision to join Burnley, obviously you've played 30 odd games, I think, for Southampton. You've played in the Premier League, you've scored in the Premier League. I, yeah. I'm guessing your ambition lies in the Premier League. How, what sort of convinced you to come to, to Burnley? And was it sort of a decision between? Southampton and yourself as well that this might be the best way of you getting regular game time how did it sort of come about well I've always wanted to play consistently I felt like last season perhaps obviously I was injured and maybe the performances when I played weren't up to the level which the club expected and which I expected so it was quite a stop start season for me so the fact that the opportunity came up here to go to a team who have recently just been relegated to a team who have brought in a new manager and have a new style of play and especially after watching the Huddersfield game at the start of the season, that was, I think after 45 minutes, I was in my head, I was already thinking how I would fit into this team. Yeah. But it was, it's just been a great, it was, it was a tough decision because obviously Southampton, it was quite um, homely in a sense. Um, I was settled there, but I feel like sometimes to bring the best out of myself, I have to go out of my comfort zone. And obviously I didn't know anyone in Manchester 
didn't know anything about Burnley, but obviously to bring the best out of myself, I felt like that's something I had to do. And at the moment, I am bringing the best out of myself, so long may it continue. The last one for me, I think I read somewhere in terms of international ambitions that you'd, you'd like one day to represent Nigeria or you feel that's the sort of the, the culture of the country that, that you're closest to. Is, is that right? And how's that, is that parent, your mum and your dad or both? Or? Um, yeah, my mum and my dad are, are both Nigerian. Obviously, I've lived in England my whole life, but I think... I've always, obviously, when I was younger and you see, like, yeah, England's schoolboy setup was a good setup, and I never got um, selected for that. But that's something which I'd say was my ambition to play for the for the uh, youth um, setup. But then, as I sort of got older and started to play more and having more opportunities in the first team, I felt like Nigeria would just be a better opportunity for me. I felt like speaking to my parents as well. I felt like that's something they wanna wanted me to obviously opt towards and obviously at the end of the day they said the decision is in my hands but obviously for a, a, a number of personal reasons um, personal reasons is why I would like to play for, for Nigeria. Great stuff. Thank you very much Thank for your you. time. All the best for the weekend. Thank you.